with Neil Fernley here at CNF Precision Engineering. Uh, I've got some fascinating components that are being made on their Matsura machine tools. They have a range of five axis uh, machines here, uh, very heavily embracing um, automation. Neil, can you tell us about a couple of these parts and what they are and, mm -hmm. and how you go about manufacturing and the kind of times it takes? So these are all um, artificial knee parts. So these for people with bovine amputations, so, um, and is there a big big market for this? Would you be doing a lot? Yeah, there is. There's a fair size market. Um, a lot of people obviously losing limbs of all the wars around the world and a lot of the third world countries now are requiring this sort of stuff and countries coming up with more money to spend on this. And is it a big assembly? Is there lots of parts in a, in a, in a, a knee construction? I believe there is. I mean, we, we obviously only make what we make. Um, the company that we make them for, yeah, I do believe they have quite a lot of assembly parts on them as well. So they're fairly complicated parts. They're not just a, a knee with a, st a stick on the end of it. It's literally... There's constant uh, thought gone into the way it's designed with oil flow. Some are electronic, don't get me, there's other electronic knees out there. These are actually mechanical knees. So, And with something like this then, how long would this take you and how would you go about manufacturing this on your Matsuras? So everything on our Matsuras we try to do in a maximum of two operations. Ideally one, we're using snap-offs, but this particular part is a two-op job. So um, for us we would make this, this side first um, on our first op, then we'd nest it onto this side and they'll be surfaced all over the, over the top and finish it off. So with it being aluminium, high speed machining, I assume, you need to re re remove a lot of material there. Yep, yep, it's a lot of material, it's a billet, it starts off with a square billet uh, and two ops. Is there tight tolerances with that? Um, not overly tight tolerances, there is some tight tolerances on, on the holes, there's shafts that sit in there that can't have any movement on them. Generally the part's fairly, fairly good to make, it's, that's what you call tight tolerances. And this is different to another one. Yeah, and, and I like this. I really like this yeah. component here. I think this is a, if you were a machine tool manufacturer, you'd probably want to use something like this as an example of what your machine can do. This is a great component to demonstrate a five axis machine, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that was done on the uh, 520 PC4. Um, hour and 20 minutes, I believe. Just under that, I think. It's just, about, just over an hour, I believe, on that one. But we've done all sorts of things. There was a bore in there we used to have to get honed because of the finish on it. We now burnish the bore. Getting us a nice finish, um, and the job comes off in uh, two ops again. And you couldn't be doing a part like that without a five axis machine, could you? Well, you could, it'd take you forever though. Yeah. And yeah. you'd probably and end up with a lot of scrap, and it wouldn't look right, it would look, ter it'd look terrible, it'd look terrible, awful. And uh, your, your business, you, 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 this is uh, just a small part, isn't it? Can you maybe just give us a quick overview of CNF, who you're doing work for, the types of industries, your accreditations, uh, you know, and, and why really you've grown so much in recent years? Um, so we're aerospace approved, AS9100 and AS9001. Um, we do work for aerospace and medical are our main two sectors we work for, but we encapsulate everything, uh, motorsport, um, scientific, electronics, literally everything we do work for. And are you getting busier and busier as the uh, months or even years unfold? The space is my problem. If I could expand the building a bit more, we could get more machines in, I could build the work, definitely. And, and do you do any exporting, or is it all for the um, domestic market? Export to China and to America as well. And are you worried about what's going to happen on March, the, uh, or the end of March next year? Bring it on. Can't wait. I want it to happen. I really do want that to happen. So yeah, I don't, I don't honestly believe it'll be uh, um, as bad as some people say it's going to be. Obviously some people say it's going to be good, but I genuinely believe that it'll be a positive thing eventually for the UK economy. I think it will hurt us short term, but long term I think it'll be a good thing. Good stuff, thank you very much Neil. Uh, there you have it, well, fascinating insight into a great business here in Aylesbury, CNF Precision Engineering.